I swear to God, this video has been popping up on my recommended for like the, pa like the past week or two. Whether it's on my personal account or on the Mars 07 account. It's finally time. Right, check it out. So let's do it. Oh, and the video was made years ago. What is up, everybody? It's Mars 07. It's your Mar it's your boy Marshall. Um, Jack's going axe throwing, so he's not going to be on the video today or on Sunday or Saturday. Um, no, he's not going to be that. Um, I just have a busy recording day today. I was expecting to record. I was actually not expecting to be this recording day, but thank God. But I'm gonna have to or film like three videos that tonight. Um, coming one coming out tomorrow because I have an early flight and I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to. Yeah, like I, I, I don't want to get up too too early and do that. Like I can't do that. I don't have enough time. Plus, I don't want to wake up at four a.m. and make a video. That'd be bad. Plus, I can't do that with time limits on. Um, expect the Saturday video to come on around 8 a.m. Central Time. And then Sunday. This might sound weird, but expect it to come on 3, 3 a.m. Central Time. That's, that's, I'm doing that for Jack, mainly. Um, because he, he'll, he will be up, because he's going to be, be flying out that day, too, because we're both going on vacation. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to Phoenix, Arizona. So, yeah. I'm going to go see the NASCAR race. Yeah. So yeah, guys. Um, but so this video has been popping up on recommended everywhere, pretty much. For even though this video is made nearly four years ago, um, it's it's called 110 violations were found at an at their, like an inspector thingy at a China buffet. So we're gonna check it out, and we're gonna see what why why there are 110 violations. How is that even possible? That's my question. Like, like, I don't even know how that's possible. Might as well check. Oh, more. I'll check that one out next. But this is this is by local ABC News. Um, hopefully we don't get copyrighted. And here we go. Let's do this. Oh, let me turn that. The volume, obviously. I always have to turn to turn down the volume, like all the way, because it always, for some reason, like about like nearly a year ago, it started saying this means you record it whenever I, because I record with Zoom. I, I'm I don't know how to turn it off. I'm gonna try to figure it out one day. Yeah, anyways, yeah, let's do this. Well, get this one restaurant, 110 violations, and on top of all. Um. Oh, um, by the way, this video only goes up to 720, so. Like this, like this video will go to 1080 at least. Um, like the one we're making, but. The video we're looking at is only goes up to 720. Hey, 720 is not bad by any means, but yeah. might be a little, um, might be a little, almost like gritty or something. Yeah, I get the gritty on that day. That's weird. I don't get that. Larry, let's do this. Go get this. One restaurant, 110 violations. And on top of all of that, our cameras caught something disturbing on camera that even still exists in the kitchen now. In tonight's Dirty yeah. Dining, Local 10 investigator Jeff Weinsier tries to get some answers from an owner who doesn't want you to know what inspectors found recently. Oh, no. I don't know what this is. Oh, my God. Fish. Is that a fish on the... Is that a fish on the ground? Oh, my God. And that tile looks messed up. Good Lord on the floor we don't know if it was going to be cooked or Why? used for sushi but we do know it doesn't belong on a filthy wet greasy kitchen floor we are in the kitchen at china buffet at 11379 bird road inspect hmm. oh my god we although credit to denver getting the lod sign up that's one i guess one thing that's good about this restaurant one though maybe the only thing we found 110 violations here and we saw oh my god how does that even happen how my question is how is that even possible exist you have steak on the floor can you just take the steak off the floor oh, yeah. steak on the floor and the guys on the phone while interviewing the that lord bin of raw meat was very close to that piece of fish we found on the at least it's not like um like completely open on the floor like why would it be on the floor why, why did it mute exactly sorry i'm what is wrong with this? 
Some technical difficulties. There we go. Can you just take the stake off? There you go. And we saw they found. Let's see if we can look at these. One hundred and ten violations here, and we saw some of the issues still exist. You have steak on the floor. Can you just take the steak off the floor? That bin of raw meat was very close to that piece of fish we found on the floor. No one could tell us what was in this. Oh. What in the action? Bro, is there like a freaking desert? Like a freaking like molded desert in a sink? How does that even happen? Looks like looks like they just got like a bunch of sand and then just like that's been that's been on the, in the water for like three days and then just put scooped it in there. That's what it looks like. Air. And with added barf in it too. There are three full pages of violation after violation. Three? near a sink and a food live roaches are you kidding me if this video gets 10 likes we'll go eat at this restaurant prep table chicken beef pork ham, ham dumplings all out of temperature yeah. in a food prep table chicken beef pork ham dumplings all out of temperature the dish machine was not sanitizing food oh especially with coronavirus uh in the air these days. well it's starting to end but I, I, that didn't age well last time i said that but, but especially if you have like coronavirus back in like the old days if this was, was may 2020 that would be an extra big violation food debris in food debris you're having crusted materials mold grease was found on almost oh everything God. from ovens to the soda guns there was evidence of an employee smoking in a food prep area okay i'm not going in there smoking's terrible I'm... Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Jeez. There was an objectionable odor in the kitchen. Oh, good. That could be coming good from, Lord. from this bathroom that was in the What the frick? That bathroom looks like it was looks like someone just glued this glued stuff in there with a bunch of glue on it. The kitchen. Looks like your typical kindergartner project. No offense like a kindergartner. I'm trying to, I'm not trying to be biased or anything, but still. It was full of standing water and reeked of sewage. What in water. the world is going on? Wait, 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 wait hold up. Standing water and reek water of sewage. What in the is that a cigarette on the ground? No wonder why they the they report going on in here. here. The owner doesn't want to talk about it. Huh? No cameras. No cameras. What? So first of all, don't That's touch. Assault. First of all, That's first of all, don't touch. Oh man, it's like one of those Karens, just their male. The Barons is what I call them. They call them Kevins or Chads, but I call them Barons. Touch the camera. Don't touch the camera. Don't touch my don't camera. Don't touch my camera. Don't touch my camera. 110 violations? Wait. It's the worst inspection we've seen in a long time. 110? We show those. Worst inspection maybe in history. Entering to eat what was recently found inside. I'm gonna find somewhere else to go. <laughs> You're gonna eat somewhere else. Yeah. I, I just bought from there and I, I returned it right now. We Dang. We are shocked the state allowed this place to reopen oh my god following an ordered cleanup and reinspection oh. and we have passed oh my. our findings on to the florida department of business and professional regulation how are people actually eating here good lord the good news you now know what's going on behind the kitchen door in southwest miami day jeff weinseer local 10 news oh, remember local 10 has made it easy for you to see any restaurant inspection statewide right on your smart smartphone it is worth checking just download our free restaurant inspection app okay so i didn't see Florida this in the app store and now, we'll get this. okay so i didn't see this um on and yes i searched this up because for some reason this time didn't pop up on my argument but more issues were found hey, this is this is crazy and if you want a, more reactions we could we could try to uh, look at some other stuff like like there's a dirty dining series apparently on this one so yeah it's not a special dirty dining that has outraged many in south florida after we exposed a restaurant that exposed again this this video the video that we're looking at only goes up to 720 i'm sorry our videos go to 720 a lot anyway, so I want that one. It's not a special <laughs> dirty dining that has outraged many. What's it now? Florida after we exposed the restaurant that had 110 violations, the owner told us by phone since he was ordered shut, things have been fixed and are great. 
The local 10 News investigator Jeff Weinseer has learned that is very far from the truth. Oh, dang. No cameras. No cameras what? So, first of all, don't That's touch. Assault. First of all, do, first of all, don't touch the camera. Arrested? 110 violations. It's the worst inspection we've seen in a long time. That was back in January. Kevin, who owns China Buffet at 113th and Bird Road, didn't want to talk to us about his 110 violations. Pain. But today we were back again. No, I need yeah. to talk to Kevin. Okay, no here. Yeah. Okay. okay. Can you call him? Okay, no here. Yeah. Sorry. I want talk. to talk to you. Why? Oh my God. Why, 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 don't. Don't touch my camera. What? Why do you keep? Don't touch my camera. Why do you? The staff seems like they're jerks too. Why, why is the place not getting better? Kevin wasn't here. State records show since being ordered shut back in January, inspectors have been here nine times. China Buffet was ordered shut again February 4th. 74 violations were found then. On oh, February man, that's still a lot. February 22nd, another 86 violations. Oh, my found God. Many repeat violations. Why is the place not getting any better? In fact, if you add up all of the violations from all those inspections, oh, no. there are 518. Oh, my God. How is that even possible? How is that even possible? From insects in the kitchen. Oh, God. Insects. An objectionable odor in the establishment. Oh equipment God. coated with grease and oh, ew. food debris. Food out of temperature. No, 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 no coming. When we went into the kitchen back in January, we found fish sitting on the filthy floor. No one could tell us what was in this sink in the dishwashing area, but it stunk. That's... There was also a foul odor coming from this bathroom in the kitchen that was full of standing water that smelled like sewage. Why is this place allowed to stay open and serve you food? In the past, the Florida Department of Business and Professional... Well, Florida has it screwed up. Regulation has told Local 10 News they work with restaurant owners to get them into compliance, that it's really not their job to shut places down permanently. But in this case, we sent an email to the Department of Business and Professional Regulation asking that very question. We haven't heard back yet, but you now know the track record. Oh, are those raw clams? Here. What fish or shrimp at least? continues to go on behind the kitchen door. Jeff White's here, Local 10 News. Jeff, thanks. And remember, Local 10 has made it easy for you to see any restaurant inspection statewide right on your smartphone. Just download our free restaurant inspection app by searching Restaurants Florida in the App Store. Man, that's crazy. If this video gets 10 likes, we'll go eat there. It's in Florida. And Florida already has screwed up policies anyway, so what do I know? Yeah, Florida has some really screwed up policies. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, there's a lot. Anyways, y'all, that's it for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Have a nice day. And goodbye. If you count them 110, you're good. <laughs> I'm kidding. See you next. And you, you probably find like 110 violations. Now I'm kidding. See you on the next one. Peace.